Welcome to Back for App Containers, the series that will show you how to create the Docker files to host your application. It doesn't matter the technology in Back for App Containers. Today we'll be deploying a Flutter web app in Back for App Containers. So here I have my Flutter project and I created a build for web by running the Flutter build uh, command. And as you can see here, it created a build folder with a web folder inside it. And in here, I have all the files needed in order to host my application in Back for App Container. So I'm going to grab this folder here and put the whole folder into my GitHub, as you can see in here, my first container GitHub. I have the web folder with all its contents. And now it's time for us to write the Docker file to deploy this uh, web folder to our uh, node-based image. So here is my Docker file and as always my first command is from and I'm going to use the node uh, base image so we can have npm and node.js already installed which will facilitate quite a lot our deployment. Then I'm going to run a command npm minus y so it doesn't ask us for a confirmation minus g so it installs globally install serve. Serve is a npm module that creates a basic web uh, server that we used many times here on the channel to host simple files. Then I'm going to set my work there as slash app so we can give all our content inside this folder. Then I'm going to copy the whole content of my uh, first container git repo to my uh, current set working directory which is slash app so this first dot will get all the content from my github repo and copy to slash app which is the work there that we set over here and by default when you run serve it will start running on port 3000 so i'm going to expose port 3000 and start it by running cmd serve web I have to put web because my folder here in the first container is called web. You have to name it whatever you choose to name your folder. So once you do that here in my back for app, it will start a new deployment because I left my auto deploy setting as yes. And once it runs, it will download and install all the modules for me, copy all the files in the correct places, expose port 3000, and then create a, a fully working container in backtrack containers and check for its availability. As you can see, the container is available. If I want to see uh, its content, all I have to do is to click this green link over here and it will open up my Flutter web application that I can just click the plus button and as you can see it is already working. So it's very very easy to deploy Flutter web apps in back for app containers. So if you found this video helpful please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you already subscribed thank you for that and if you have any questions, suggestions or any implementation you'd like to see please leave on the comment section below we always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye-bye.